That's so bad. Yep, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I ended up in this situation on my birthday again. Well, why don't you join me as I walk you through this amazing night? What is it with me and cakes? Why don't I learn to stop doing fucking cake? So, as many of you know, I've been spending a lot more time in Los Angeles, and so I thought the perfect venue for my birthday party this year would be Catch Steak LA. I mean, look at this entrance. Isn't this gorgeous? There must be a thousand candles running up the staircase. I wanted to do a photo op when you first got to the party. So I had them bring in this gold mirror. Here's our hashtag, HDBD23. And of course, love your selfie. And the red carpet leads right into the lounge. In years past, I've done all different kinds of parties, sit down dinners, small dinner parties, all kinds of things. This year, I wanted a cool lounge, hangout, sexy, moody, edgy vibe. This is perfect. That's me, there's the birthday girl. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love my outfit. I'm wearing a satin Alexander McQueen dress, sheer black hose, and Saint Laurent satin slingbacks with a little marabou in the front. I know they're a little, I don't know, boudoir, but it's my birthday, I can do it. Plus, I threw a little Saint Laurent leather jacket over my shoulders, stacked some jewels on, and I felt I was ready to party. Of course, I wanted my guests to start off their evening with a bang. So, when they entered, the first thing they saw were my two cigarette girls, all dressed in red sequins, holding custom-made ice shot glasses. The idea is to take the ice, do the shot, make a wish, and throw it at the gong. And then your wish comes true. Super fun, super cute, and a little liquid courage for everyone as they walk in. Took a few little photos before the guests arrived, and the champs was already flowing in mini glasses. I love mini glasses. More on that later. Here they come. It was so great to see all my favorite people and what a great mix of friends from Orange County and Los Angeles. I love my friends so much and these are friends that I've had for two, five, 10, 20, even 30 years that have come here from not just all over LA but from other parts of the country. I am so excited. Let's get the party started. Pour the drinks. Of course, I need a few moments to have a picture with my honey. I always like to get the photos over with at the beginning of the party, so then I can just relax and have fun. So I have my selfie alone. Now I need a great picture with Terry, and we're good for the night. When I'm throwing a party, I'm always looking for the adult version of balloon twisters and bouncy houses. And for this party, I think I really nailed it. First, we have the ice on the gong. Then I found this fabulous woman named Sasha, who's from the Ukraine and designs the most gorgeous temporary tattoos. Fireside tat. Everyone absolutely loved this. Who doesn't love a temporary tattoo? Try it on, try it somewhere sexy. Moving on to Pasha and Daniel at my haiku station. Haiku for you. I mean, how amazing is that? You walk over to these two guys, you give them four words and they write the most beautiful, epic, or hilarious haiku ever. I'm gonna be framing mine. Fan favorite station was Drew Martin. OMG, custom made joints with botanicals in them? Are you kidding me? First of all, Drew and his team are absolutely fabulous. Their packaging is gorgeous and they're joint lights. So they just have a little bit of marijuana and you can add lavender, or mint, or all kinds of botanicals to make it absolutely your own. Everyone loved this, especially, you know, Terry. Moving on to something I thought was so, so fun. I love interactive moments at a party. And instead of having a guest book that people would just sign and I would look at later and forget about or toss in a memory box somewhere, I had an idea to get a phone booth and have people leave me voicemails. And you know what, as the night went on and the liquor was flowing, the tea was spilling, friends. Oh, wow, that was a hit. I love that. I will do that at every party from now on.
The gong was so great and such a hit, I could tell anytime someone was walking into the party, and then all night long, you knew people were having fun when you heard gong. It's a party. We had a DJ, we had dancers, we had the cigarette girls, and everyone was just in a really great mood. The energy was amazing. And as you can see, the mini glass of champs never left my hand. Terry doesn't always give a toast, but when he does, it lands. It was just the sweetest, greatest toast. I love my husband so much. I'm literally the luckiest girl in the world to be surrounded by all of these incredible friends and my amazing husband. So, instead of doing a favor as everyone leaves, I decided to have a little fun with it. Enter the gifts. Pick a fab gift and you've got it made or find someone to make a trade. Okay, y'all. Take your gift. Don't open it yet. Everything is boxed in red and no one has any idea what's inside the boxes. So, let's see how they did. There were some epic gifts in there, some designer bracelets, wallets, AirPods, to silly things like Rubik's Cubes and speakers and socks with my face on them. What do you think is a good gift? The socks with my face on it or the jewelry? Hmm. Terry hates dancing, but he loves me, so he'll always dance with me, and I just think that's the best. The phone booth messages are hilarious. Heather. Heather. It's Jamie. And Liza. And we love you, and this party is this phone booth alone. It's all so freaking fabulous. I just wanted to say happy birthday, gorgeous. And we hope that right now you're listening to this in bed in a silky soft robe with Terry and you're unpacking our gift. This went weird. It got weird. But great party. Thanks for the joint. I love you, you beautiful unicorn. Happy birthday. I'm headed back to the dance floor for another glass of champagne. This is the most fun party ever, ever, ever. You nailed it. I'm looking at you out on the dance floor and you have the cutest butt. It's so cute and the cutest legs. And I love everything about you. And this is the best party ever. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> you are the most selfless person and the most loving, caring person that we could ever, 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 ever ask for. Oh my God, I'm Another fun surprise, let's play a game. Pin the champs on the heather. Yes, I had a photo taken of myself and a six foot tall cutout made with little glasses, paper glasses of champs and a blindfold. We're playing for a bottle of Dom, let's go. Just like pin the tail on the donkey, you have to put a blindfold on, you gotta be spun around and off you go. The one who gets the closest to my hand wins. Okay, Jenny's making out with me. <laughs> Just like the old days. This was so much fun. Everyone had such a great time with this. And I want you to peep the Botox sign in the back. Well, I had signs made for every vendor we did so that if you looked around the room, you could see what else was going on and make sure you made your way over there. The funny thing was, there was no Botox at the party. I just thought if I put the sign up there, everyone would be looking for it all night. And they were. And of course, I need a chance. Okay, now it's full circle. The cake. Okay, the cake was a disaster. I don't know if the person at the bakery like literally hated me or what. It was supposed to be a figure of me in a champagne glass on a box. It, this is like a blue lava mountain with a messy box and, and even like the meanest things people say about me, that I'm Coraline's other mother or that, you know, those, those horrible memes they put up. Those look like supermodels compared to what is on this cake. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta roll with it. You gotta laugh at it. You gotta make a joke. I don't understand why my cake is always a disaster, but you know what? The worse the cake, the better the year.
Okay, well the cake sucked, but the party was epic. I love seeing all my friends who are like family to me and my amazing, kind, incredible husband that really does not like events like this, but is willing to do so lovingly and, and, and energetically for me. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions about party details or anything, leave comments below. Till next year.